So, I am back in this game, and this is gonna seem kind of sudden, but yes, I am in a campaign that I started a little while ago. I got myself kind of set up so I can actually make this video for you all. Um, if you haven't watched my last video until the very end yet, you will probably not know that my last campaign crashed and I forgot to save, so yeah, my all of my progress is gone. And I am relatively frustrated with that, but I mean, I can get over it. Plus, I've already started myself a new campaign, and I didn't record this on YouTube because, um, for one, it was just kind of boring getting myself all set up. I, if I ever start a regular campaign, I will start from the very beginning and make my way along, but the reason I did this was a bit of an odd one. You see, this game originally has a very long name, as I've discussed before. Star Wars Empire at War, Forces of Corruption, Awakening of the Rebellion mod. But now the game's gonna get even longer of a name because now there's a a new sub mod coming out for the game called Dark Times, which is a gate which is not a game, a sub mod that actually adds in a bunch of new units for each faction. And for the rebellion, that's what I'm gonna be kind of focusing on today. It adds in a lot of Republic units, such as Venators. There's a bunch more units that it adds in as well, such as these little um these Jedi down here. The AT, ATAP companies, ATRTs, and many more units. It also overhauls a bunch of different units like uh, Coda's Militia, gives them different weapons, and so on and so forth. And then you got more units just like the Acclimator or the Arquintans, and just so on and so forth. There's so many new units that this, um, this sub mod adds in. And today I wanted to show off a few of them. Now a few quick disclaimers before I start this. I would like to let you all know that I'm probably not going to show off too much. I might show off some of the battling that I do on the land and space with some of the units that I get. But for the most part I'm going to try to keep as much of it out of the out of the video as possible to keep it a little bit of a surprise for the people who actually play this. This is going to be more of a teaser video just to kind of show off the more obvious units such as the Venator or the Jedi or... Arquintans and so on and so forth. So yeah, I'm not going to show off all that much in this. I'm just going to show off mainly battles and maybe me building a few things. Like I can go over here and I can build ven unit. just build a venator just like that and just yeah, build I'll just be building a few things and for the most part this video will be just about the battles. So, getting into the game, I'm going to now start showing off some of the new units that they've actually started adding in, such as, um, actually, while I am here, I am probably going to just turn down the master volume so I can hear myself talk a little bit easier. But anyway, one of the main units that they're adding in, like, I don't know really whether to call it main or not, but it's been a very controversial controversial opinion it to be added into the main mod AOTR or if it should just be left out. So the sub modders just did it. They added in the Spectres or the people from the show Rebels. And um, the main ship is actually commanded by Harrison Dula and it is a Luker Hulk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit overpowered to be perfectly honest, but I mean, it's a Luker Hulk, so yeah. <laughs> There's also a few more things that they added in, su such as Sabine with her own little uh, Mandalorian ship over here. But I won't bring her in, just because I want to show off some of the other units. Also, apparently I can no longer bring in my Venators, so that's a bit of a problem. Oh! Um... I actually was not aware that Hera got a battle group. That's actually a new thing that I, I did not know about. Huh. That's kind of cool. I did not know that was a thing in this game. Or in this sum mod. But anyway, yeah, this is Hera's ship. It's actually uh, her own version of a Lucre Hulk. It has a lot different of a design on it. Plus, apparently, she gets the Acclimator to go along with her. So, I guess that's a bonus as well. And I think I sit, saw her. Yeah, she gets to pilot the Ghost as well. So, that's really cool. And, of course, she's in a Lucre Hulk. So, we get a bajillion fighters. And as well as that, there's also a few kind of odd ships that they added in. Not completely odd, but they're not really all that common to see in Star Wars. Such as, I believe this is the Legacy? Um, yeah, this is the Legacy Class Star Destroyer, and it's kind of like an upgraded version of the Venator in a, in a sorts. I'm not sure exactly how much more powerful than the Venator or how much weaker it is, but I'm aware that it has a lot of firepower, a little bit less of a hanger, and um, that's about it. I'll actually just have to see how it does in battle. They've also got the Valiant Star Destroyer, and I'm actually not all that, I don't know, informed about how this one works. I think it's a lot like the Venator as well, a little bit more upgraded. 
maybe just less fighters in general because it doesn't look like it has hangar bays, but I don't know. I just They both really just look like really cool versions of the Vendor. I can't wait to see these two in battle. And they also have a few more ships like the Arquintans. You already saw one over here, so I'll just leave that out. Then they got things like the Acclimators. Wait, no. Sorry, these are the Acclimators. These are Arquintances. I always get those two mixed up. And yeah, for the most part, I think that's actually the majority of the space units, besides the Venator, and of course I brought in Hera, so that means I can't bring in any more Venators. So yeah, I'm going to get a little bit, bit of a battle line going, and let's see how this battle lines up. Let's also just bring in Sabine with this um, Mandalorian ship, and I just want to see how what this thing is like. I mean, it's a big missile boat already, I'm aware of that, but I'm just wondering what, the, what it gets for fighters and stuff. Okay, so it looks like they got two squads of fighters, or two squads of Sabine fighters. I don't know if that's a glitch or not, but I'm aware that each of these squads has, or at least one of these squads has, like, individual units that all look different. Like, I believe that painted fighter right up there to Sabine's, and the rest of them all just have a bunch of really cool looking fighters. Kind of like her style in this show. So anyway, yeah, let's just... Um, I'm going to start grouping up all my fighters, because that's what I like to do here, and let's get this battle started. Okay, so I have all my things grouped up, I'm just going to start the battle. And I'm not really going to go with much of a strategy, because I don't really care about losing these units. I really just want to see them in battle, see how well they fare against one of these Golan 2s, and a, um, a victory class, and the space station back here, the capital shipyard. So yeah, let's see how well this battle goes. Okay, I would prefer to actually see some of these people in, fight, in the fight, though, so I would like that for Hera not to immediately get herself killed. Okay, so yeah, let's start seeing these things get into battle, and right off the bat, we have some of these V-Wings that came from one of our ships going right into battle. Let's actually see this in cinematic mode. Oh yeah, I really love the, um, I'm not sure if many people agree with me on this, but I really love the Ghost, just because it's not really a traditional fighter, it's kind of this, just this big bulky transport that was kind of refitted for combat, I believe. I'm not completely sure the lore of it. But honestly, it's just one of my favorite ships in the Star Wars universe, outside of things like the TIE Avenger and etc, etc. And then you just see, like, the... I honestly feel bad for the school and station, because I would be scared, too, if I saw a massive one of these, um, Luker Hulks and just appearing out of nowhere and starting to destroy a lot of our a lot of your stuff. Um, how are the bombers doing? Pretty good. I'm going to send them after the hangar. And it looks like all of our ships are starting to get into firing range. Um... It actually looks like... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, I forgot to mention this, but apparently the um, all the lasers on the Legacy and... What is this one called again? On um, the Valiant? They were actually changed to blue lasers to kind of fit the Republic theme, so... I honestly found that as a really cool thing that they did. Okay, yeah, that Arquintus is dead. Oh, sorry, Arquintus. But yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool way fit. I'm not sure how you're supposed to dis distinguish between Ion and just regular turbo lasers, but I mean, it's still a pretty good addition. Also, apparently the Luker Hulk can repair fighters. I'm not sure if that was the right place to do that, but I did it anyway, so... Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, just look at this. These ships are just tearing apart the, um, the Star Destroyers and other, other things that they had nearby. I just want to get this in a cinematic cam. Okay, that's probably the wrong place to do it from, though. Yeah, just look at this battle group from over here. Just seeing the massive Luker Hulk and then the Cadet. Is that the, I can never pronounce that right, Kadabla. I pronounced it wrong in the last video as well. Eh, it doesn't matter, but yeah, it's just it, it just looks awesome. Oh wow, yeah. Um, the one thing that this does, this mod does, it kind of makes your the rebellion overpower, and that just <laughs> just look at the amount of fighters they have, and tell me this isn't overpowered at all. I mean, they have enough. They have enough um, anti fighter fight, fighters of their own that they can take down a sta space station. It's almost, it's, it's just overpowered. That's the, that's the best way to explain it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're retreating. Well, it's a bit too late for that. I already destroyed half your force. And we are victorious. No, they're retreating soon. No, I'm just going to get the shot. Yeah, this, this battle fleet is just amazing. Yep, and we won without taking any losses. That's not right. I, I am sure I lost a few things, yeah. Um, this game still does have a few bugs, it's currently in development, so yeah, there might be a few bugs that you see along the way in this in these battles, but 
Well, yeah, just be aware of that. Anyway, what I think I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to bring over this ground force, and we'll see a few of the units. The main units are actually not going to be shown off because they're over here, but I guess that's a little bit of a, just a, um, a teaser for you. I mean, that you pro probably already know what the ATAP does based off the Black Sun and the ATRTs. Well, that's just going to be a surprise, but the main thing I really wanted to show off in these battles were these Jedi, and... I'm not actually sure if I have them all. I think there's a couple that you can get up here at Elum. I'm not completely sure. Okay, so yeah, we got all our units here. Let's just start grouping up all of our units. Um, a bunch of missions are all happening at once. This is a bit overwhelming, but yeah. Let's see some of these guys in action, along with um, these, um, these two, which are basically going to be like Rex and Hera and then Sabine with a bunch of Mandalorians. It's pretty cool, but yeah, the main thing I want to show off is the Jedi in this. Oh, I'm do it. <laughs> I'm just going to auto-resolve that. I'm just being attacked all over the place. Okay, just let me start the battle and have Rogue Squadron be part of the attack force. Okay, finally actually going to start this battle. Okay, so yeah, let's start up the battle, and right off the bat, you'll see that we actually start out with a couple of Jedi. And, oh, they actually comes in groups of two. That actually explains a lot more. I thought they were just um just one at a time, but actually that explains a lot. So yeah, let's bring in the six Jedi, and like just there's so much going on in the background. Okay, let's also bring in the Spectres. Let's bring in Sabine, and let's just bring in some random units just to support them. Okay, so these are the Jedi, and they look very cool. They actually have their own animation where their lightsaber doesn't ignite until they're in battle too. That's that's really cool. Oh yeah, they also have um. The Spectres, like I said earlier, so you actually have Rex, you have Hera right here, and you have Chopper, which... Oh, um, they're already trying to get into a fight, but you have Chopper, which apparently you cannot select with, by clicking, so you actually have to highlight over it. I'm guessing that's going to be fixed soon. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. And then you have Sabine over here with her own squad of Mandalorians. That's not Sabine. Uh, where are you? Uh, not over here. Um, where, where's Sabine? I know she, she's somewhere. Here, I could just click on her. Oh, she um, spawned back here. So yeah, this is Sabine, and she has her own little character model. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, some cin cinematic cam is kind of getting... Er, cinematic cam was kind of just glitching out there for a little bit. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to actually gather up all the modded units real quick, and I want to see how well they do on their own in, the, in a battle. Um, they're probably going to end up dying, to be perfectly honest, but I mean, I just want to see how well they do. So yeah, control group one. Um, all these guys will just be back here defending the base. I just want to see how well these pe how well these people do in battle. So, yep, Mandalorians immediately rush in, get themselves killed, and do what I'm probably doing this wrong. I probably do want to be using the rest of my force, but I'm not really going to do it in a serious way. I'm probably I'm just going to do it in like just a attack everything, see how well we do fashion. So, how well are we doing so far? Um, I'm guessing Hera doesn't really do all that much with. Um, what does Hera do, actually? It has an overload blaster and, blaster and rush down. Um, maybe doing an attack move order with the hero units wasn't the best idea, because they immediately just rushed it and got but got themselves killed. I honestly wonder if these heroes could probably take down an AT-AT on their own. Because they're, they're just causing mass chaos right now. I also like how all the Jedi have their own different abilities, but honestly, it's just... I, I don't know what to pay attention to. There's just so much going on right now. Okay, so yeah, start attacking the at, -AT. Oh, they're just gonna use the force to destroy it. Okay, yeah, I'm losing a lot of units in this, including Chopper. Wh why is Chopper dying? You're all the way back there. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter, but yeah. I just wanted to show off some of these units, and I haven't really gotten to see them really in action yet, so yeah. I like how they have these little force animations, and... I actually want to see a few of these doing in melee combat, so yeah, I'm gonna, just going to send them over against some infantry, and yep, they're just going to start slicing them up, causing me not to be able to see anything. Oh, wow. They they are dead. This is just... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's just all happening so fast. Alright, well that was over quick. I managed to lose someone, I think. I can't even tell. It's just, everything is just happening so fast, I don't even know what's happening. They have a really cool little animation that they go through when they attack the, attack the enemy here. Um, little bit of a weird reflection on them, but that's okay. 
yeah, I just love the fact that the, that we actually have Jedi that are not just these standard weird looking Jedi and they actually go through and attack people instead of just getting stuck on everything that they touch. Yeah, it's it's a really good thing to have in the game. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not being all that talkative in this video. It's just that there's so much going on all at once that it's just kind of chaotic. It's it's just it's honestly just hard to tell what's happening half the time just because of all the things that are going on. But yeah, that's kind of what happens when you're trying to talk in this kind of game. So yeah. Anyway, we seem to be doing pretty well, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so yeah, we seem to be doing decent so far. We've lost a lot of units already, but I mean, that was probably bound to happen if while well, I was just rushing everybody forward like I was. So yeah, let's just let's just finish up this battle and you could probably see by now that these hero units if combined like I did can be very overpowered. So I do hope that this gets nerfed in the on the near future cuz yeah, this is kind of an overpowered setup to have. Oh, so that's who I lost. I ro lost Rogue Squadron. Okay, that's a bit disappointing. But yeah, we now have control Solist. But yeah, those were some of the units and um <laughs> Honestly, felt like I didn't really do this mod very much justice in that last battle because there's just so much going on. I didn't even know how to commentate on half the things that were happening all the happening all the time. So, yeah, I might be able to do a future video on this. Maybe just like not me talking, but just kind of showing off the units going through a ground battle. But yeah, that was just but that's the dark time sub mod, and there's a lot more units that are possibly going to be added. A lot more units are still in the game that I haven't showed off yet, but. Either way, I can't wait to play this when it's fully released, and I hope you enjoy it when it does. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. It's going to be, I don't know if this is a little bit of a short video or even a normal size video, but it's going to be short for an Empire at War video. But anyway, yeah, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'd please encourage you to like and subscribe because it does help out the channel. Hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. And as always, goodbye.